everyone, welcome to another Router Gods video. My name is Humphrey Chung, and in this video we're going to do a practice topology. It's going to be with four routers, and two of the routers are going to be simulating PCs. So this is a topology that you would use to practice DHCP, and probably also NAT, NAT, Network Address Translation. Now one thing to be careful of if you're going to use NAT is that you have to increase the memory on your router. So you have to go into GNS3, go to Edit, iOS Images and Hypervisors, click on whatever image you are using, so let's say it's the 3725, and instead of 128 megs, you want to pop it up to 256 megs, and save it. So close out of there. So we're going to start off with dragging four routers into our window here. Drag one there, there. Router 3 is coming up, and router 4 is right there. Okay, close out my node types window. I'm going to rename router 1 and 2. So change host name. So we'll call it PC1. And call router 2 PC2. And then we're going to rename router 3. Router 3 is going to be called router 1. And we're going to call router 4. Let's call it websites. Uh, let's call it router2. Okay, so we got PC1 and PC2 on the left hand side, router1 in the middle, and router2 which is going to simulate our internet, our external connection. It's going to be on the right side. We're going to link them up. So PC1 fast00 to R1 fast00. PC2 fast00 to router1 fast01. Looks like we have to add a card to router 1. So right click, configure, R1, slots. And pull the drop down. We're going to do a NM1FE-TX. That's going to give us a fast Ethernet. Click OK. Click back on the add link. Go to R1. So now we have a fast 1-0. Click on that. Click on R2, fast 0-0. Going to uncheck add a link check on show interface names and there are our fast ethernet labels right there and we could arrange them you know, so we could see them okay so ip addressing scheme pc1 and 2 are going to be dhcp so we'll just type that in dhcp dhcp drag these labels right there just to help you remember Router 1 is going to have a loopback. Let's do all 1s slash 32. Router 2 is going to have a loopback of all 2s slash 32. And we'll just drag it over the respective routers. On router 1, the link between R1 and PC1 is going to be 10, 10, 12, 1 slash 24. And between R1 and PC2 is going to be 10, 10, 13, 1, slash 24. So I'm going to do something like that. Okay, between R1 and R2, let's give it a proper internet address. Let's say, oh, 140.1.1.1. Make it a slash 24. And the other side is going to be 140.1.1.2 slash 24. I'm going to drag this over to R1 and drag that over to R2. So that looks like a pretty good topology. We're going to save this topology just so we don't lose it. So save as. Go to Meetup or wherever you're going to put this. And we're going to call it 4 Routers, 2 PCs. Or actually, probably more accurately, two routers, two PCs. Two routers, two PCs. Click on Save, and it's going to make the .NET file for us. All right, so now we're going to click Play to start everything up. And it's going to churn through your hard drive to make that file.
And after it starts up, we're going to click the console icon right here to fire up all four consoles. And while that's firing up, I'm going to open up a notepad because it's going to save us a little bit of typing. So one of the common commands that we do is it, when you're in conf t, after you do the host name, you're going to do no IP domain lookup, line console zero, logging, synchronous, no exec dash timeout. Right? So I'm going to copy that into the clipboard. I'm going to go into all of my routers, enter no there. Just basically get past the first menu. Okay, so enable conf t. I'm on PC1, so I'm going to change the host name to, or this is PC2, host name PC2. Go over to R1, conf t, host name PC1. Oh, looks like I did that wrong. Host name R1. And this is actually PC1 right here. And R2 is our last one, cuff T. Host name R2. All right. So now since I've got four commands in my clipboard, I've got no IP domain lookup, line console one, logging synchronous, no exec timeout. I'm going to slam them into all my routers. Right click, right click, right click, right click. And I've got the basic commands in each router. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to set up the IP addresses, which is actually going to be pretty easy. Because on PC1, we're going to do a couple commands. We're going to turn this, this is really a router, but we're going to turn it into a PC by doing no IP routing. It's going to turn off routing. Then I'm going to go to, into int fast 0, 0 and do IP address DHCP. So when R1 turns into a DHCP server, PC1 is going to get the IP, which is going to be pretty nice. We'll just do a no shut right there and exit out of there and do a write mem. So PC1 is done. Then I'm going to go over to PC2, do a no IP routing to turn this into a to simulate that it is a PC in FAST00 and then IP address DHCP and no shut. Exit out of there and do a write mem. Then probably the one with the most complicated configuration is R1. I'm going to do the loopback first, int loopback0, IP address all ones and that's a slash 32. Go to int fast 00, IP address 10, 10, 12, 1. That's a slash 24, no shut. Int fast 0, 1. Give that the IP address 10, 10, 13, 1. That's a slash 24, no shut there. And then int fast 10, IP address 140, 111. And that's a slash 24. And no shut that as well. Do a quick write mem on R1. Then we go over to R2. R2 is actually pretty easy. Int loopback zero, IP address, all twos. That's a slash 32. Int fast zero zero, IP address 140112. That's a slash 24 and no shut. And follow that up with write mem. And we're good. Okay, looks like we have a duplex problem between R1 and R2. Let's see what we got here. Duplex mismatch, not half duplex. Okay. So on R1, we'll do a show int fast 10. On R2, show int fast 00. What do we have here? We've got half duplex, 10 megs a second. And R1 is full duplex, 100 megs a second. Okay, so let's change that. Cough T, int fast 10. 
speed 100, duplex full, go over to R2, T, int fast 00, zero speed 100, duplex full. And let's see if R1 continues screaming at us. Show int fast 10. Full duplex 100. Hit the upper arrow a couple times. Show int fast 00. zero. Full duplex 100. Everything matches. Life is good. Okay, now we want to save our configuration. So we go up here to the blue arrow pointing to uh, looks like 2 o'clock. Click on that. Extracted directory. Click on that and extract it to the same place that you saved your topology just to make things a lot simpler. So two routers, two PCs, we'll click OK and our configurations have been saved. Awesome. So that was a quick and easy video of setting up a four router topology with two routers being simulated as a PC. Thanks for watching.